Hey guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts. Well, we have reached the final episode of Synth Gear XV and the final episode of Synth Gear altogether. Um, so apparently also the other thing I was going to say is that after this episode, like there is no possible way for them to continue this series. Uh, like apparently everything is like wrapped up in a night, nice little box. <laughs> And everything is hanky dory. So, yeah. This is going to be the final time I. Well, not the final time I watch Simply Gear, obviously. I'm probably going to, going to watch other people's reactions to it. But this is going to be my, the final time I get to see it firsthand. And the final time. Uh, um. I'm going to miss these characters, man. Like, to not get an, anything new from Synth Gear after this is kind of tragic. But, yeah, final battle between every all the Synth Gears versus uh, the Goddess. They need to get Miku back. Um, I don't even know how long, like, this battle is going to take. Like, but we'll find out. I'm assuming... Because I have a fit, man. I don't know. Maybe it won't be the entire episode, because they need to wrap everything up this episode as well. Ah, uh, but yeah, end of the road. Oh well. After this episode, I'm going to try and talk as much about it as possible. Because, yeah, I kind of need to think about a lot of things about about this. Anyway, let us jump into the final episode of Synth Gear and the final episode of Synth Gear XV and see how Hibiki gets her wife back <laughs> uh, in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, not happening. Come. Looks like Elfin is still alive as well, which is good. Of course, they made it in time. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, we're going back to this conversation. <laughs> yeah. And even uh Elfin Iron's gonna help. Final battle's already begun. <laughs> You're on a bet? <laughs> I still think it's going to be Hibiki that's going to deliver the final blow. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we have a god slayer, but she's a Symphony Gear Slayer. <laughs> Nicely done. Maybe. Maybe it's uh it is possible that it's uh Mickey's Mickey's doing. Mm. But she's not going to give up that easily. Of course he's getting serious. 
So you guys have to get serious too. True Dex and McKenna, yep, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh crap. Well, oh, this is a I can't stress how great this is. <laughs> because this is great. Oh, that's a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah, you can call perfect beings. I like how the hair is all grey as well, because of the, uh, the power-up. <laughs> Oof. Don't turn your back on it. Yeah. She's thinking about that. <laughs> She's crying though. I reckon Mickey's going to fight back now because She's obviously still seeing what is going on. Maybe, anyway. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh, this is... <laughs> it's just blowing everything up. <laughs> this is why Hibiki, you don't get distracted. Because she can use that against you. Oh, crap. Nope. Oh. Oh, it's Elfian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, what do you wish for? <laughs> then don't use it to kill. Hopes. And she's out. <laughs> yeah, she... Come on, Hibiki. You have to realise you have to fight. Or think of a plan to save Miku. Oh. 
Oh. Arr. Everyone's going to return back to... Humanity's going back 5,000 years. Shit. <laughs> this is... Hey, Vicky, you really need to do something now. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two so yeah, exactly. Come on, Hibiki. <laughs> Even so. Come on, Ibiki, you finally made it. Yeah, that backfired. Take back the future. Now I got all of humanity against you, God. <laughs> Oh. It's all up to Taka... Yeah, it's all back up to Hibiki now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> for the future. <laughs> yep, she did. <laughs> there we go. Ah. <laughs> oh. And defeated. Well done, Hibiki. You got your wife back. Now admit your feelings to her when she wakes up. But what about Elfian? That's the question. Used up all her memories. Someone's caught you. Oh, did Carol just use her memories and Elfian decided, yeah, to save it, Elfian, I should say. No. No. Goodbye, cow. Well, at least. Elfian survives, but yeah, without her other half. Now what's up? Oh, everything is speeding up. Yeah, Yadagur 3 is so active.
That's not good. How are they going to stop this? I have seven minutes. I'll work out some, yeah. So how are they going to stop this thing? All the way to the F's core, that's... Noise, of course. Alka noise. Who's singing? Is it Miku? It's Miku, isn't it? Yep, I was right. Carol's gone. Is hang on, is Carol speaking through Miku? Because it looked like Miku was talking just the end. Well, Elfian was. Hmm. Ah, okay. Got it. Yeah, I guess that's the case. Time to save the Earth. For real. <laughs> Again, like that they're all color-coded to who's singing. <laughs> oh! Get to see everyone. Everyone that's passed away is all, all there. That's... Oh, that got to me. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, at least I got to see Miku in her Cynthia Gear outfit for the last time. For one last time. And it's not being used for evil anymore. There we go. Time to get out of there. <laughs> Before the whole thing blows up. Oh, the outfit, the gears are breaking. See? Oof. Oh. She grabbed a uh, hibiki. Oh, and she grabbed uh, Miku as well. Yeah, that's fine. Pain and suffering is part of being human humanity. And then she lets them go. Okay. Guess the Shinra saved them in the end. Yeah, they're going to need some medic. I think they'll be okay, actually. Ah, uh, that was great. And that's the end. Oh, wow. That's the end, guys. That's the end. Officially the end. Oh, that was a rush. Oh, I teared up a little bit at the end there. Seeing uh, everyone, like, or everyone that had, like, died throughout the course of the franchise. Uh... Looking at them, like looking at the synthetic gears. I wonder if there's anything after this, or if that's. Oh, it looks like there's a bit extra. I guess they're going to have to obviously. And uh, the cast. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Sentinels. Yeah. The epilogue. Care of the uh... Hmm. 
Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and that's the end. Kind of, <laughs> honestly, I kind of feel like that was a bit of a cop out. <laughs> like, it would have been a good ending if, like, they admitted their love for each other and then that was it. But, uh, besides that, that was. That was fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is officially the end of uh, Symphony Gear. What a ro This was a ride. Amazing, fantastic, beautiful ride that I wish was still ongoing. But I still stand by that uh, binging it, binging the last four episodes was the right call, uh, because, yeah, I don't think I would have been able to handle another day <laughs> of this, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this season, season XV, season five, uh, yeah, for season five, um, 10 out of 10, definitely probably the best Synthia Gear season, um, for me personally, anyway, um, I know some of you guys have different opinions on that and that's fine. You can have your opinions and I can have mine, but, uh, yeah, that was a lot to take in. Um, but we got our happy ending. Hibiki and Miku got together. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed anyway. Um, Took Hibiki long enough to realize her feelings, but she got there in the end. And it only took, you know, a goddess to taking over Miku's body to for Mik uh, for Hibiki to uh, realize her true feelings. But as I said, we get there in the end. Ah, uh, I don't know what my favorite season is. Um. Like, they're all good. They're all amazing. Um, so they all range in different qualities. And I know I said, like, this is probably the best season, but... Hmm. I do like the others. Like, a, uh, the other one I liked really uh, pretty well was uh, GX. That was good. And I also liked AX, uh, AXZ. Hmm. Let me just double check the other ones. Um, because, yeah, they are all really, really good uh, shows. I think... Hmm. I think the weakest... Well, weakest... Um, out of the five is probably honestly the original season, Synthia Gear. Um, but like, don't get me wrong, it's still an amazing season. But compared to like everything that comes after with G and following all the, the others, it doesn't really hold a candle to um, anything to the others. As for, I saw say that my favorite character was Chris in the end, but hmm, if I had to rate them, I don't, how would I, hmm, just thinking of how would I uh, rate them, what order I should say, would I um, put them in? I guess I really can't. Um, because they're all of, they were all amazing. They were all great characters. Um, uh, I will admit that the other one I've got a small soft spot for, uh, honestly, is Miku, because, um, well, considering the fact like 
the amount of stuff that she had to go through um, for Hibiki's sake is commendable. Seriously commendable because, like, she essentially stood by Hibiki the entire time, like, with these having these feelings towards Hibiki, but because Hibiki, for the most part, was you know very thick, uh, I guess just is I don't know if that's the right term, but very th thick in the head, she didn't cry, it was more one sided, but it was during uh. XV that Hibiki started to slowly realize her feelings for Miku. Um, another character that I really liked was Chris, obviously. I really liked uh, her backstory about, you know, off, pretty much parents get killed off in a war torn battlefield. Um, she becomes an orphan. She then essentially gets um, picked up by... Oh, crap. What was the name again? Was not was it Fiend? Fine, I should say. Fiend? Fine? Anyway. Fiend. Um, can't really remember. But, yeah, she then was essentially tortured by her. And it was, again, Hibiki that saved Chris in the end as well. Def uh, Hibiki definitely had a... Um, a charm, I guess I could say, of being able to save people. Like, And then Chris saved Sabasa, and heck, Sabasa, out of all the characters, I think has gotten... Um, like really the worst backstory ever because like if you really think about it because her grandfather was really her father because uh i think i think it was uh, i no, i really hate to say this i think it was through um was it no was it rape i can't i don't can't remember uh, but, yeah, and then, like, being raised as, like, a, a sword, as, like, a, as just a tool for battles, it's just insane, and, yeah, I'm really glad that, uh, uh, Futaba, Futaba, uh, whatever, um, still can't say his name correctly, I apologize, um, it's right here, actually, I can just look it up again. Um, yeah, Fudo, 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 um, got arrested in the end, and yeah, he's not getting, he's probably going to be in jail for the rest of his days, honestly, because, well, as I mentioned in the earlier reactions, uh, I think it was episode nine, actually, um, or was it episode, sorry, episode ten, um, he pretty much orchestrated the entire season of XV and uh, with the concerts and all those, like, what was it, like 2,000 or so people died because of him and he just did not care. And then he orchestrated um, putting that bill through to essentially uh, put Song on ice, I guess, for a while until um, his son... Um, the other politician, um, in fact, he's listed here too. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh, yeah, here he is. Uh, Yatsu Yatsuro, um, man, yeah, he got, he was killed off. Um, but yeah, being, I guess being, uh, shot in the back would definitely, uh, will probably definitely kill you unless the only other thing is that if you got shot in the back and you survived, you'll be, uh, pallid, uh, pallid, 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 Yeah. Anyway, you'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of your days. So yeah, it was clear that, um, 
he was more of a father figure to Sabasa than, well, Fudo will ever be. Um, just realized throughout the entire show, we never really got to know Sabasa's mother. I can't, honest, I'm trying to think back, but I honestly can't remember a time in which it was mentioned or brought up of what happened to Sabasa's mother. Like, was she, he, has she, was she like, had she passed away before, like, Cynthia Gear, like before season one? I'm not sure. Um, again, the other characters that are like, again, I'm just going through them all now. Um, was really great to, the cameos this season were amazing. Uh, with Carol, with, um, all the, uh, or, uh, oops, wrong character. Uh, with uh, <clears throat> sorry, this again. You know me. I'm going to have to like look at the character names to get them all to see. Um, uh, where are we? Lilia, uh, Lia again to see. Um, all the or Mika, all of them again was amazing. Um, was not expecting it though. I will admit, I really should have because uh, thinking back on it, like, you know, I'm getting sidetracked, but so I'll be very quick about this. Um, seeing, like, the broken dolls in the tubes, I really should have given it away that they would be revived briefly as it was. Um, and for some reason, I feel like I didn't actually pick up on that until, like, they were shown as revived. And, yeah, that was... Great to see them again. And it's pretty much a great um, way to uh, show off, like, the characters again. And to sort of redeem the villains as well. That seems to be, like, a on an ongoing arc thing throughout, like, the whole of Synthia Gear. Um, like, the villains being redeemed in the end, even though they have to essentially die to be redeemed. But... Um, they were still redeemed in the end, uh, which is really great. Like, it's a shame that uh, Carol passed away in the end. Uh, but on the bright side of that, in a way, she didn't pass away because Elfinan is there. And also, Carol also got to be with her father again because that was one of the... Uh, uh, People, like, we see when, like, everyone is seeing at the end to destroy uh, that thing. Again, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, but just, all those cameos were great. To see, like, Mother again and to see Dr. Vare. Just, like, all these characters showing up and, like, Carol was standing next to her father as well. It was just great. And then seeing, like all the other villains that have passed away that had, were redeemed throughout the show uh, being there. Mind you, saying that... Um, uh, damn, this cast list is long. <laughs> um, yeah, Shem, Shemha was also redeemed in the end because she was there too and she saved everyone with her hands. Um, but she only spoke to Hibiki and, uh, Miku. She didn't speak to the others, but she still saved them. So, hmm, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. I don't fully grasp why after all that, after like battling Hibiki and, uh, you know, being defeated, why would she just suddenly turn around and... Well, not really turn around because she'll be, she was dead, but help them out in the end. Uh, but yeah, definitely... Sh I can see now why there's no not going to be any more Synthia gear because they definitely did wrap everything up because, like, all their gears were destroyed in that fight in the last battle. So all the Synthia gears just broke apart. So it allows, like, Hibiki, Maria, Chris to just be normal girls again. Um, 
and just to essentially live out their lives now, just uh, having fun, spending time with each other. Um, you know, I guess uh, Hibiki and Miku can now uh, go on dates. Um, let's go and bring this over here now that uh, I'm done with um, Synthic Gear. Uh, yeah, what else can I talk about? Probably, I, I still think, in all honesty, the best the best villain, well, Dr. Vare comes to mind, <laughs> but he was more... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? He was more... No, I won't say anti-villain. He was definitely a villain, after all. But... I guess it's because he was a, a damn likable villain that just couldn't help but love to hate him. That's the thing. Again, all the villains in this, like, were actually really good. Like, they were really good at being bad. Um, so, mm, I think still the order scores were one of my favorite types of villains we ha we had uh in uh in Synthia gear not that um uh, the Vanessa and um uh, uh Miltic and uh Elsa were bad like weren't bad villains like they as they kept saying throughout the season they they were uh weak but they still put up a really good fight in the end turned into monsters thanks to uh See, I can't think of the damn name. Every time I try to think of it, it's just like, it just escapes me immediately. Um, and it should... Is it even listed? Yeah, Shem, Shemha. Why do I keep forgetting Shemha? It's such an easy name to remember, and yet I can't remember it. All the time. When I think about it, it's just gone. But... Hmm. But with... Yeah... That's the thing, I really do... The reason why, I guess, I like the villains so much is because they can be redeemed, and... Like, sure, they probably weren't... Obviously, they weren't uh, great human beings, because, like, for example, Vanessa and uh, Miltic and uh, Urza, well, they helped kill, like, 2,000 people in a stadium... Uh, without a second thought. And yeah, so there's that. But at the same time, you still feel sorry for them in the end, which is something I don't think that many anime shows like this, if there's any other shows like Synthia Gear. Um, maybe Yuki Yuna is a hero, but maybe not. Um, can do. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be praising this uh, show, this series, for a while. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a great send off to the show, to the uh, entire franchise. Um, you can throughout the thing uh, series, you could definitely well through the entire series of uh, XV, you can definitely see the callbacks to the previous seasons, and. Some of them very blatant, like I said, with the cameos. Uh, yeah, everyone was great. Every, all the characters were great in this. Um, it kept surprising me. It kept shocking me. I, As I said, I teared up at the end there. Um, really, really, really great show. I can't think of anything that they may have left out. Like, I was thinking... I had thoughts earlier before I started reacting of things that they talked about, but over the series, but I can't think of anything now that they may have left out. And I th think they actually did cover it all. But yeah, it's a damn shame to say goodbye to these characters because even though for me personally, I haven't like, I haven't like, uh, didn't watch these like as they aired so 
I think it's both of a blessing and a curse in a way because like I can just watch these I could just watch these episodes um in this entire series at my leisure but when it was airing waiting each week for the next cliffhanger and the cliffhangers build up and build up and build up it would have been insane for everyone that was watching this as it aired um especially this season uh especially episode hang on i've got it here um not that one this one uh episode six i think i think it was six um where Elfian and uh miku were taken and that's like having that uh then later on having that uh end ep- the credits play and having um you know hibiki and miku uh i guess memories would be no not memories but their scenes together this play out as if like to say like this is the end like it's over for miku um yeah you can definitely tell i definitely had a soft spot for miku in the end uh well actually probably throughout the entire show actually because i can't remember i apologize if i brought this up before i honestly cannot remember uh but one of the well i probably brought it up in other reactions but i don't think i brought it up in synth gear or maybe in, in season one but i'll say it again one trope in anime that i honestly really don't like is the kidnapping trope it's just really for me it's really dull and boring but it does work sometimes and it definitely worked in this season and heck it actually worked in synthi gear season one as well um but i still don't really like that trope it's just overused and yeah annoying anyway I don't want to rant about that. I've been ranting about Synthia Gear for like, I don't know, 10 minutes now, I think. I really should stop. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want this to end. But it already has ended, I guess. Uh, I don't know what else I can say. Oh, I guess I could talk about uh, Jen, uh, Best Commander. <laughs> best Commander being Jen. Uh, he was great. Jen, and he is fan of uh, movies uh he he is definitely a f- force to be reckoned with and that fight between him and his dad uh that was great that was a great battle and saving Sabasa from you know killing um fubo uh, fubo yeah whatever um was also really intense and really Oh, it was great. <laughs> oh, I, as, I'm definitely going to miss these characters. I'm definitely going to miss them. This is probably one, one franchise I don't want to ever hear get rebooted. Now, if down the line they think of a new idea and they somehow think up a new sequel... For Synthia Gear. Then I will probably be interested. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up here, guys. I think I've spoken, I've praised this enough as it is. Um, yeah, so let me know your final thoughts. Mind you, saying that I still have one thing I need to do with Synthia Gear, and that's the OVA, which I haven't downloaded. So I'm going to have to do that um, tomorrow during the day. And then when I can, I will react to the OVA. And then that will be the official end of Simpta Gear. Um, but this is goodbye for now for Simpta Gear. And again, this all started off as a Patreon reaction. And... I've got to say, 
thank you so much for suggesting it to me because it was at this show, well, the original show, Cynthia Gear, was actually on my plan to watch list. And I think it was actually on my list of shows I was going to react to. And yeah, it just, it was worth it. It was 100% worth it. Um, even though, as I said, Cynthia Gear, the first season, compared to the others, is a bit weaker. But yeah, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. <sighs> but yeah, again, thank you so much for watching my reactions to Cynthia Gear. I know maybe some of you um, join, uh, subscribe to me surely on Cynthia Gear alone. And I really appreciate it, guys. If you haven't already, if you're for some reason not subscribed to me and you enjoyed my reactions to Cynthia Gear, please subscribe. Um, it definitely means a lot to me. Also, in the description, you'll find uh, links to my anime list uh, account. You'll find a, a link to my Patreon. And you'll also find a link to my Twitter and uh, Discord. I have a Discord. You can come over there if you wish and um, say hello. We can talk about more Synthia Gear if you want on my Discord. And you guys can go out about telling me who your favorite characters are, who your uh, favorite, what your favorite season was, who's your favorite ship. You can do that too. Who was your favorite villain? Or you can do that, I guess, in the YouTube comments as well if you so wish. But um, yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you soon for some more reactions, guys. Have a good day as always. Bye.